Hi. <laughs> to start this series, I'm starting with word definitions. A habit which I'm starting to form that we need to do. A lot of people use words, they don't always necessarily understand the word. I teach people wherever I go, it isn't what you say, it's how you say it. A drop in a word, change in a, in a fluctuation of word, can often change a definition of what people are trying to say. Lately, in the world, we like to rap. Run about a million words, all in a straight, straight one sentence. No commas, no periods, no exclamation marks. No pause to reflect, no time to think. This is causing a major communication Gap. As a teacher, we need to work against it, not promote it. If you got a message, you should make your message very clear. The problem I have with a lot, all these rap artists, they all got a message. But A, you don't really understand it. And B, even with all the wealth that they are incurring in getting this message out. Not one of them is really doing too much to change everything that they're complaining about. It's more like, give me all your bling and I'll be happy. And it's my bling and don't you dare ask me for a share of it. But you should be sharing your wealth. Realistically, Young people, you need to take a lot hard look at these people. Oh, they came out of the ghetto. Oh, they suffered the rough times. They got the message. They know what we're talking about. When they're promoting gang violence instead of standing up against gang violence. When they're taking their wealth and exploiting their bling and saying this is what gang violence and situations have gotten to us. Instead of taking their exploitation of the poor and gouging of the wealthy to bring out this musical message against this violence when they too are sowing more into it and not really doing things like creating job specs, improving education, doing what's necessary to help people get out of impoverished life. Now it's your turn. The definition word for today is conversion. What does conversion mean? I googled it. I'm not really happy with the definition. It says process of converting. Really? <laughs> the synonyms do better at defining the word than the word itself and the dictionary definition of the word. I'm really disappointed at the dictionaries that are out there today. The synonyms can be words like change, transformation, metamorphosis. I like the word metamorphosis. It's what the caterpillar does when it goes into a, co into a cocoon and changes and in its due time the cocoon shell snaps and out comes presto changeo a butterfly. No matter what caterpillar comes in, nobody saw the butterfly coming out. People like to talk about change, but they don't really want to change. We prefer the status quo, the same old, same old, the way things always were. I mean, they've always worked. Why change? The change is because the reality is you think it's working, but in reality it's not. Jesus talked about conversion and converting. On his point, it's more than change. Because the word conversion in itself also means, can be applied to two roads that are merging together. You have a superhighway going in one direction, a little insignificant side road. It's been gravel for most of its life. And as it gets closer to 
a larger situation, it becomes grid or paved rock. And from there, it becomes tarred. And from there, as it moves closer and closer to the urban areas, it turns itself into the superhighway and merges with the multitude to become a great straight and, and, and paved path where high speeds and multi-moving of large groups of um, transportation, um, traffic can do. Buses go on large roads. Trucks, semis carrying goods go on these large roads. To be changed, to convert to the points of thought, ideals, principles, and teachings of our Messiah is really what we're supposed to be about. The church went off the track and has been converting them to their way. You can't be a Christian. You have to be a Baptist Christian, Pentecostal Christian, Methodist Christian, Episcopalian Christian, whatever time, side tack, instead of being a Christian Methodist, we make it primary in our focus goal of what a denomination believes. Except the man follow our Messiah, he can no ways enter into the kingdom of heaven. Except the person converts into the road and method, the path of righteousness that the Messiah teaches, not what a congregation or denomination teaches, not even our own, would dare put their name ahead. When people talk to me and say, what are you? I say, I'm a messianic first. Messianic, Messiah. His name is pre-opposed upon what we are. As a messianic, I adhere to, to the best of my abilities, and I continue my studies to improve that, part of the Netzarim school, which is our way of thinking, our way of studying, and our way of, of, of converting ourselves. We're not into converting others. We don't care what shingle you hang on yourself. The reality, we all must convert to Messiah. You can't be a Netzarim. You must be a follower of the Messiah, which is really what it's all about. We are defined sometimes by groups as being a cult. C-U-L-T. Well, if this is what it means to be a cult, in its definition that our one leader is right, Jesus is right, Yeshua is right, then fine, we accept that. Because there is no change. And our leadership is the primary goal. And what he said and what he talked takes precedence over anything we may feel or hear. We have an expression for you in your world. If you find with the way things are, you can stay there. But in our world, we like what Joshua said in the opening of his story. As for me and my house... We're going to serve the Lord. And by house we define it. This is the bait. This is the house. Until next time, I look forward to the rest of my studies as more of these come forward. Stop being a band-aid. Physician, heal thyself. Shalom.